Hello, today I will talk about one not so really common topic in this community, but I think really important. I will discuss depression for a few minutes and my own notes on it. Well, I studied psychology in university, but I am not generally satisfied uh, how this condition is approached in psychological circles. They usually advise therapy, which contains medication, and they advise counseling, but because I had problems with depression and I had uh, those counseling sessions, to me they were extremely ineffective. And uh, I don't see elaborate point in elaborately talking and opening up yourself to somebody who is there for money. I don't see the point in it. And I will never understand the point in those psychological sessions, nor I will ever understand the point of dragging yourself to change your behavior in order to quote unquote have some alternative view of reality. For that same reason, I am not a really big supporter of heterogenic drugs, especially not outside of the ritual. And so in this video, I will talk about my own past struggle with depression. Because now I obviously don't struggle with depression at all. Because I figured out how to deal with it. How to deal with depression. How to deal with those things. I actually had two suicide attempts in my life. So it's not that I am talking about something I don't understand. And my last really short quote-unquote depressive episode was in May this year, but it lasted maybe two or three weeks. But due to the things I already discovered previously, uh, it never turned into actual illness like it did when I was maybe 16, when I was like four months in a bed without being able to move and only eating. Uh, that never happened after I figured out how to deal with it. So essentially what depression is, it is hormonal imbalance in the brain mixed with astral problems with certain parasitic entities mixed with unhealthy diet, unhealthy routine and general misdirection in life. And all of those things influence depression. All of those things increase the probability of depression. From a medical psychological standpoint, if you ask any psychologist what depression is, it is chemical imbalance in the brain, which causes extreme feeling of negative emotions, which leads person unmotivated and unwilling to live, which usually results in some attempt of suicide or it reduces the quality of life of a person to the point in which that cannot be called life anymore. And the thing with depression is if you treat it as some form of a spiritual destiny, as many people do, uh, when they are depressed, they almost treat it as destiny. And uh, in order to escape from that destiny, they take medication. 
they treat it as something which cannot be changed. I am not saying that it is easy to change your depressive state. I was in there, so I know how enormously difficult it is. But if you treat it as destiny, you will definitely get fucked. Because depression by its nature is illness, which the longer it lasts, the most terrifying it is. So the first advice I have for depressed people is to force themselves as much as possible to be in the sunlight. That's the first advice. The second advice is to force themselves as much as possible to exercise physically. The third advice is to force themselves as much as possible to change their diet. Now, show exercise, diet, and sleep pattern, as well as sunlight influence depression. It's pretty clear. Regarding the diet, I am not necessarily expert. But I know from experience that having a normal sleep pattern and exercising regularly over time, over three to four months, gradually reduced the intensity and it reduced the swings of my depressive state because like depression in my experience it's like a constant feeling but it's not always of the same intensity it's swinging sometimes you are depressed to the point of just having difficulties to stand up and having difficulties to move and work and having severe emotional distress but sometimes it is strong enough that you literally physically cannot move and physically get out of bed i am not talking about the lack of willpower to move or lack of willpower uh, to get out of the bed i'm talking about it being so physically strong that you are literally physically nailed to the bed now those three things essentially when you are depressed healthy diet healthy sleep pattern and exercise will reduce those swings and they will gradually over a few months uh, reduce your depressive episodes uh, making those three changes exercising being a lot in the sunlight and having healthier diet are extremely difficult to make in the beginning but start with the really small changes for example If you are really, really depressed and you have an enormous difficulty, go to the sunlight 5 to 15 minutes every day at the noon. Because you cannot more. Exercise 5 to 10 minutes every day. Because you cannot more. Sleep healthier as much as you can. Change the pattern, but I am aware that you cannot do it immediately. And it will be a slow process. The thing with depression is. I need to disappoint you all. All of the depressed people. I suffered from it. I had two suicide attempts. 
But the only person who can truly deal with your depression is you. It is not anybody else. It is not a doctor. It is not a shaman. It is not a sorcerer. It is not a medical worker. It is not psychologist. It is not psychiatrist. All of the meditation and medication help. But they don't solve the root of the problem. The root of the problem which causes depression is the lack of purpose, the lack of direction, and the lack of emotional satisfaction. Those three things combined result in demotivation and alongside with other environmental factors of bad nutrition, bad sleep pattern and lack of physical activity, those things create hormonal imbalance, which we know as depression. What I can advise for depressed people is to do aura cleansing and chakra cleansing every day. And that is the only spiritual routine I will advise to the depressed. Because that is the only spiritual routine which can benefit them 100%. All other spiritual techniques have a risky blowback so if you are depressed and not really experienced with magic if you are really experienced with magic and depressed then there are two answers i can give you one answer i can give you is first if you are really experienced with magic and depressed over and over then something is wrong with your magic. You need to ask certain questions. If you've never had a depression in a really long time, half of a year, few years, but you have depression again, it could be a challenge from the gods. But if you are really long into magic, and you are constantly depressed then I need to tell you that something is wrong with your magic your magic shouldn't allow you to be constantly depressed that is my answer to this question of depression I will give for the end of this video a meditation for cleansing of the aura Imagine a ball of white light above your head, penetrating your entire aura and running through it. Then breathe in that light until your aura starts radiating it. When you are certain it radiates light and the meditation. Also, performance of exorcism rituals is crucial if you want to hear my honest opinion about the things related to depression. Because exorcism doesn't only banish negative entities, it banishes negative energies as well. If you have a psychiatrist, and you have a prescription, take the prescription and go to a psychiatrist because it can help. But don't rely exclusively on psychiatrist and on a prescription. The only person which can aid you and help you is you. Because your depression is your problem. It's not your psychiatrist's problem nor it is your psychologist's problem, 
in order to the problem of spirit you are conjuring. You put yourself in that situation and only you can get yourself out of it. Because depression is the product of a lifestyle and environment. It is not a product of one event. Because what modern people don't understand is the reason why depression is so widespread today is because we as a species live really unhealthy unmotivated lives and uh, depression is only a news product a byproduct of that it is not normal for a human being to don't have a goal it is not normal for a human being to not have a purpose it is not normal for a human being to sleep irregularly, eat irregularly, don't go outside on the sunlight. Those are things which are not normal for a human being. And alongside other spiritual and environmental factors, those three things usually result in hormonal imbalance we know as depression alongside emotional unsatisfaction and lack of purpose. So, thank you for watching and see you soon.